One guy stopped in the work. He deserted Paul and Barnabas. He, he became a naff. He didn't finish the job. He actually lost faith. He didn't actually push through. He probably stopped tithing. He didn't go to the call conference. He actually didn't actually come to church on Sundays. He backed down and he caused a disagreement in an apostolic team that caused a major split in the church. But one man believed in him, a man called Barnabas. Yeah. Believed in him. And at the end of Timothy, Paul's writing, he said, send Mark to me because he's helpful to me in my ministry. This is the guy who wrote the Bible. Never, ever write anybody off in God. Never. Never write anybody off in God. We had a man called Nicholas Graham. He came into our church. He was a drug addict. He got saved. He got wonderfully saved, and then he backslid, and for years he disappeared, and eventually God uh, uh, arrested him. He came back to church. He spent a few weeks in the church. He walked to me one day. He said, you know, Rory, it's easier to come back to God than it is to come back to Glenridge Church. And that day I got on my knees and I said, we're going to build a church where it's easy for people who have messed up their lives to come back and get given a second opportunity. And every time you open up the Bible to the book of Mark, remember that one man called Barnabas believed in this guy. And your job and my job is to believe in people who have failed in their lives so they get given a second opportunity to count for God. We never write people off. Never write people off. We always keep applying the grace of God. We keep forgiving. We keep trusting. We keep giving you opportunities. There is no place in the Bible where God actually says, that's it, over people who are humble and repentant. Amen?